Hello and welcome to Amethyst Style Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are going to um, do a um, masking technique using the Rose Garden Thin Lips dies. And I've taken this one out, which has got the whole image through, run it through the big shot. And um, we're also going to be using this um, little banner um, for later on for the sentiment and again that will be run through the big shot so having run it through the big shot we are left with a mask like this um, now if you remember on my last video I actually used the leaf part um, which is why I don't snip them off and today we're going to be using the rose so we have a piece of whisper white cardstock which measures um, five and a quarter by three and a half. And we are going to put the mask in across on here and we are going to use sponge daubers and various different colors of pinks and oranges this time. So we're going to use Calypso Coral. We are going to use Rose Red and we're going to use some rich razzleberry, which is a gorgeous purpley colour. So let's um, begin. I think we're going to start with the rose red. Let me show, show I've got my sponge daubers in the right place. I don't mix them up. That one on there, that's rose red on there, that's rich razzleberry. Right, okay. So we're going to start with, and I want the rose image to be coming down this way. So um, we are going to just ink up some of the rose red and start in the middle this time with this one and literally just take it down through because um, what we're going to create is a lovely background which will stand alone with just a sentiment. So um, I say hold it on with your fingers. Um, it's a little bit of a larger image to go through so again it's a matter of um, pouncing it through giving it a little bit of a rub and with sponge daubers it's always about building up the color um, and taking it through now you can do it in several tones on one image but on this one I'm just going to just build it up one at a time so that's the first one wow that's lovely and we're going to take the next one through on here and we're going to use the calypso coral on this one so again take it through from the center um, I love how all our ink pads blend through beautifully so you can build up lots of little tones and little colors and you can take things through particularly with the mask you can see exactly where you're going so on this bit I'm not going to take it through on all of the pieces to blend it through. I just want to take it um, again, always take it off the edges because that makes it go right the way across the background um, and blends it in nicely. Okay, so we've got that one there and let's take that through on the middle and again you can see we don't need to go through round on this area, we're just going to go through the centre and we're going to use the rich razzleberry on this one so let's take starting it in the center because you can build it up from there quite nicely and bring it through um, and you can just take it where you want so as you can see through the mask i'm not taking it right over the edge of the other one because i don't want it to blend completely through i want to keep some white space in there as well so just take it through on there um, grab through on this one um, you do need to hold the um, mask down with your fingers um, but it's quite easy to do and you just sort of build it up as you go bring this one down on here um, and again you can put it through as dark as you want or as light as you want depending how much colour and how much you press through. Okay, take that one. Lovely. Now this is where I'm going to turn it just a little bit because I want 
piece through on here and I'm going to take the rose red again um, so I'm getting the colours coming through um, and you can blend through what you want you can choose whatever colours that you like that go together nicely I just chose these ones fairly sort of at random but they actually look lovely together so I'm in on there now let's take the Calypso Coral in here and I want to take this so that it comes off so again just sort of turning it round as you go and we'll put the Calypso Coral in on this one um, I find it easier starting from the centre because you can see where the colour is going to start to build up and again off the edges here so we get it right the way across building it up on this flower here but you can see I'm not using the whole of the mask um, because some of the bits right at the edge um, are a little bit large so they don't give that definition as well as in the center on there and let's take what are we going to take in this bottom piece here Let me turn it that way around and we're going to use some of the um, rose red again because it's just a little bit subtler on here um, and as I said before when you're using the mask you will find that um, the colours that you've used before will start to sort of slightly bleed through um, but that gives you a quite nice sort of two-toned effect on there um, and again you can you can obviously use more than one tone if you wanted to um, on the mask to sort of build up some of the layers and this one I just want it to go lightly through on the background so I'm not re-inking on this little piece on the bottom um, on there and we just need to take a little tiny piece on here so let's turn it round that way and I'm going to continue just with the rose red just on this little bottom piece to just bring out this little bit there like that there we go so as you can see you've got a lovely background on there um, and what I did was uh, let's take these ones back as I'm doing it um, I just took the image um, and cut out um, a happy birthday banner says me can I see it um, hopefully in a minute I will um, which is where did I put that one here it is um, so I just stamped happy birthday on this one um, I took that from the best birds uh, let me excuse me reaching right across um, so I chose the best birds because they have some lovely sentiments in here and it's just the happy birthday um, and I just stamped that on there I would put it in with um, some dimensionals to hold it up and I've chosen some rose red cardstock to go behind just a quarter of an inch wider so that is five and a half by three and three quarters and you've then got the little sentiment which you could you could actually put it wherever you wanted to so you could put it there you could put it in the center I will probably line this one straight up in the center like that um, but as you can see just by using um, a little bit of color it gives you a really nice background you could obviously put some ribbons and various other things on it if you wanted to but it stands really nicely um, on its own so um, all the products um, are available over on my website to purchase which is amethyststarcrafting.blogspot.com um, and um, thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you again bye bye